Secondary glomerular disease Glomerular disease can be secondary to many conditions. Malignancy and infection-associated glomerular disease are considered here. Etiology, pathophysiology, and pathology Malignancy-associated glomerulonephritis The mechanism is unclear, but renal disease may improve with treatment of the malignancy. Most patterns of glomerulonephritis can occur. Infection-related glomerulonephritis The mechanism is usually unclear, pathogen antigens can trigger an aberrant immune response causing renal damage. Most patterns of glomerulonephritis can occur. Epidemiology Malignancy-associated glomerulonephritis Of patients with malignancy, 15-58% to 58 have urinary abnormalities. Up to 17% of patients with solid tumors have histologically evident glomerular changes. Membranous nephropathy is the most common histological type. Infection-related glomerulonephritis Significant glomerulonephritis can be associated with viral infection, hepatitis C, hepatitis B, and HIV, bacterial infection, streptococcal and endocarditis, and other infections, malaria and syphilis. Clinical Presentation and Physical Signs Malignancy-associated glomerulonephritis this varies from asymptomatic urinary abnormality to nephrotic syndrome or acute renal failure. Physical signs depend on the tumor and renal pathology. Infection-related glomerulonephritis This is highly variable, depending on the infection and the associated renal disease. Investigations Investigations will also be directed towards the malignancy or infection. Differential Diagnosis Malignancy-associated glomerulonephritis The differential diagnosis is from either primary glomerulonephritis or other tumor-related causes of renal dysfunction, including obstruction, invasion of the renal tract, renal vein thrombosis, urate nephropathy, hypercalcemia, and drug toxicity. Infection-related glomerulonephritis Differential diagnosis is from unrelated primary glomerulonephritis. With chronic infection, amyloid A amyloidosis can occur. In treated infections, consider drug toxicity. Treatment Treat the malignancy in malignancy-associated glomerulonephritis. Eradicate where possible, the infection in infection-related glomerulonephritis. Complications Malignancy-associated glomerulonephritis The complications are those of the malignancy and its therapy, and also of the nephrotic syndrome, hypertension, or renal impairment if these are present. Infection-related glomerulonephritis the complications are those of the underlying infection, and also of the nephrotic syndrome, hypertension, and renal impairment if these are present. Prognosis This depends on the infection or malignancy. Generally, renal involvement is associated with a worsened prognosis for the malignancy. Disease associations In infection-related glomerulonephritis, these could potentially include the following. Hepatitis B, membranous nephropathy, mesangiocapillary glomerulonephritis, type 1, and IgA nephropathy. Hepatitis C, mesangiocapillary glomerulonephritis, type 1, and mixed essential cryoglobulinemia type 2. HIV, focal segmental glomerulosclerosis. Epstein-Barr virus, microscopic hematuria and proteinuria. Streptococcal infection, post-streptococcal, diffuse proliferative, glomerulonephritis. Staphylococcal infection, 
endocarditis, shunt infections, and general sepsis diffuse proliferative glomerulonephritis, focal segmental proliferative glomerulonephritis or type 1 mesangiocapillary glomerulonephritis. Salmonella infections, mesangiocapillary glomerulonephritis or IgA nephropathy. Tuberculosis, amyloidosis. Leprosy, amyloidosis, diffuse proliferative glomerulonephritis or mesangiocapillary glomerulonephritis. Malaria and syphilis, membranous nephropathy. Escherichia coli and other enteric infections can cause hemolytic uremic syndrome. Leptospirosis causes an acute tubulointerstitial nephritis.